the Origin Millennium Hardline, the fastest PC we've ever tested. We finally got our hands on it. Let's be cool. This thing's got a tight package and a chunky chassis. That'll knock your socks off. Way ahead of you, partner. Got nostalgia for the 1980s? How about a certain 80s cop show set in Miami? Break out those pastels, ditch your socks, and fire up this custom gaming PC from Origin PC. It's called the Millennium Hardline Vice Edition, and the version we tested is a total beast. The parts inside are definitely 2019, not 1985, and they turn every dial up to 11. Plenty of companies make high-end PCs, but how many of them would Crockett and Tubbs be proud to be seen with? Origin PC is based in Miami, and build some of the most over-the-top PCs around. That explains the Miami connection, but this machine takes the theme way beyond that. The Millennium Hardline has more water cooling than Miami Beach. Both of the twin NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti cards and the Intel Core i9 CPU are on a hard tube cooling loop that looks gorgeous. It's all accented with beautiful blue and pink LEDs, along with the Flamingo pink fluid pumping through the heart of its cooling system. But you'll want to think hard about whether the hardware inside makes sense for what you need from your PC gaming and your everyday work. Despite its top-of-the-line components, on some tests, the Millennium lagged a little behind some less expensive desktops in content creation tasks like Cinebench and Photoshop. But considering the price, you should expect the best. Then, there's the graphics. Its gaming performance was well ahead of the curve for games that can make full use of both its GeForce RTX 2080 Ti graphics cards, which are connected in what NVIDIA called NVLink. But not every game knows how to make use of two graphics cards these days. It's very much hit or miss whether your favorite game will be able to use all that two-card muscle. And considering that these RTX cards cost $1,200 a piece, for most folks, that's all kinds of overkill. This machine you're looking at here is $6,500, and for that price, we expected absolute dominance from the Origin Millennium Hardline Edition. Don't take us for chumps. It's definitely no slouch. But given how our test model is configured, it only makes sense for very extreme gamers looking to max out their game frame rates on a 4K monitor with a very high refresh rate. Maybe you've got a shrine to Don Johnson hidden away somewhere in your house. If that's you, we're not going to try and dissuade you from the Millennium Hardline. Whether you need all that power or not, you're never going to see another PC like it.